Yo, what is good, y'all? This is JV here, and today I have an album haul for you guys. Now, today I have uh, five, five albums that I purchased within this last few weeks. I, I got them all at once, kind of. I, I kind of bought it in bulk. And these are just uh, five albums of different genres that I'm really excited to check out. And, uh, yeah, let's just get straight into it. Y'all know the whole core, uh, the whole, you know, thing we do. Now, uh, this is Tori Kelly's Unbreakable Smile. Now, I am a huge fan of Tori Kelly. She's a great singer, incredible voice. I believe years ago, she was on um, American Idol, and she's just been really killing it in the YouTube game. And I learned about her years ago when she featured on a track with Traffic, a.k.a. Timothy Delaghetto, another YouTuber. And, uh, yeah, it was on, her, uh, on his Cruise Control mixtape for the song Magnetic, I believe. And I just thought her vocals were incredible, and I've been following everything she's released since. So this is her formal debut into the world, and this is her first album. I'm so excited to have this. So yeah, I got Tori Kelly's Unbreakable Smile. Um, I got Zarface, Every Hero Needs a Villain. Now, if you're not familiar who, who the big name in this is, Inspector Deck from Wu-Tang himself. They have a new album. Now, this is a dope album because it has great features on it. Like if you see Method Man on it, Lark Professor, who just released his, uh, an album himself. Uh, Jizza, also another Wu-Tang member. MF Doom, so hyped to check out that song. And Ari the Rugged Man, a lot of big names on this album. And one of the most notable things that I've picked up on this album, again called Everybody, Every Hero Needs a Villain, Starface, is that, uh, like, look at this packaging. It's the most impressive packaging I've seen for an American album, like, <laughs> ever. Basically, you open it up, it's completely designed like a comic, and it has all these pages, all comic. So dope with the disc in the back there and a slip cover. So not a formal unboxing, but I just wanted to let you know I got this album. Really dope. Great price for it too. It was only like ten dollars or something. Ten to twelve dollars. Basically the same price as a, a normal album and you get this dope ass uh, packaging. So yeah, Zar Face. We have Death Grips. What is it called? Uh The Powers That Be. Now, I heard a lot about this album, most notably from uh, one of my favorite music reviewers, The Needle Drop, a.k.a. Anthony Fantano. Love that guy. Check out his channel if you haven't. He does super in-depth, great music reviews. He's really into the Death Grips, and they're an alternative hip-hop group, from what I'm, I'm familiar with, that use really obtuse, strange production, but uh, I'm not really familiar with their work at all. But I, I really trust, I've heard a lot of big names speak highly about this um, this album and this these artists. So I was like, yo, let me pick it up. It's a double disc and uh, yo, I'm really excited to check this out. So yo, the powers that be. We got Kina Granis Elements. Now Kina Granis, I actually found out about her a couple years back when some of her songs were remixed by a guy who, I'm going to butcher his name. I don't know how to pronounce it. It's like Paul Date or... That. I don't know, it's D-A-T-E-H, that's how his last name is, and he did some remixes to a song, like one was like Valentine, another one was featured in this miniseries by I believe Wong Fu Productions, but her voice is absolutely amazing, I I've been subscribed to her, uh, her channel for a long time, another you know, person who makes YouTube videos, and this is her album, I don't think it's a form uh, I don't think it's a debut, I think she has some other albums out, but I definitely felt like I need to pick up this album, definitely support, so if you're into like... I would highly suggest, if you like Tori Kelly, check out Kina Granis, and vice versa. And then lastly, we have uh, Jedi Mind Tricks, the, the Thief and the Fallen. Now, just at, like, first look at this album, you might think that it's like a metal album. Like, the packaging is very reminiscent to something you might be seeing from, like, I don't know, fucking Sumerian Records or something, like Artery. Uh, it's at one of those metal labels, but, uh... No, Jedi Mind Tricks, I have no clue about them, to be honest. This is my first look at them, and I'm really excited to check out this album. I've heard a lot of great reviews. Uh, I saw it on Amazon under suggested titles to check out, so I, I read some of the reviews on this album, and it, it's gotten really you know, good reviews on it, so I'm really excited to check out this album. Again, Jedi Mind Tricks, The Thief and the Fallen. Uh, I believe this is a release from 2015. But, yeah, that's just the five albums. I just wanted to make a quick video for you guys because I know uh, some of you guys really like, you know, keeping up with my uh, album purchases. Again, the five albums, I'm going to read them right here for you guys just in case you want to check out any of them. Tori Kelly's Unbreakable Smile, Zarface, Every Hero, ne Hero Needs a Villain, Death Grips, The Power That Be, Kina Granis, Elements, and then Jedi Mind Tricks, The Thief and the Fallen. So, if you have any questions on any of the albums, please leave them in the comment section below and I'll be happy to answer them. And uh, if you're curious about how I uh, 
feel about any of these specific albums once I listen to it, again, leave a comment and I'll be sure to get right back to you. But until next time, this is JV. I love you guys. Bye.